All right. So here's just a quick short tour of my 1989 Fleetwood Pace Arrow. I purchased it on June 11th and I've slowly been working on the inside just to renovate it a little inside but outside she's all right. She is a 460 Ford C6 in a John Deere chassis. Has the driver's door. Terrible mirrors that you can barely see out of so I'm going to be swapping those right away. Uh, no real damage or cracks in the window that I can see. Nothing leaks, at least in the front. Um, front end is pretty solid. Got that awesome 90s technology down there for the lights, so be changing all that out. This is my Tony Stewart plate. I am a NASCAR fan for life. As it says right there as well. This mirror there was some water damage up along the top here and uh, on both sides of the RV inside and this wall got a little soft in here and now this mirror is just looking stupid. I'm going to take the panels off and tighten everything up there. So pretty basic. It's got one storage unit on each side which I can't open because this is all got my toilet out because we're redoing the floors just building basic I am not by any means a contractor or a person who restores things or vehicles or anything like that but we're moving into this unit um, full time we're going to live in it for a year and see how it goes we want to travel a bit and see a bit of Alberta this is the province we live in and uh, just uh, you can see it's got the emergency window in the back nice ladder going up it's 30 feet Whoop. <laughs> anyways 30 feet long and I don't know about eight feet wide something like that 93 inches on the inside or some, some damn thing um, yeah, it's got water tank, water tank. It's my city, my city water, and my potable sewer hose. And the other side of storage, which I can actually open on this side. And then that one goes right through to the opposite end. And lots of space down here to keep some junk like tools and whatnot. It's got lights in there, but I haven't figured out what power system they're on because there's a bunch of switches inside that have been uh they wired some stuff in whoever had it before you see my lights dangling down there because we just painted but i'm gonna uh nothing special about it she's got no solar no nothing some young guy lived in it for for a while out in bc and while he was working kept it in really nice shape actually I didn't find it too bad, but the wife said, I would like to uh, put new floors in and paint it. And I was like, sure, honey. All right. Oh, I hate climbing on this roof. It's easy to get up, but it sucks getting down. So there's my air conditioning unit. And I actually came up here so I could take a look at this guy and see what I need to do to take off the cover and see how everything's working in there make sure all the lines are good the compressor's clean actually it really doesn't look bad in there uh, you can't see it through the camera the fan's a little gungy if i can get a light here actually the fan looks really good everything clean the impeller's clean there's no leaks, the roof is resealed. This I wouldn't mind replacing. Then it's got this antenna deal here, which I found the switch for, and I'm not sure if it works yet or not. I have not tried many of the electrical systems. When I drove it home uh, from Canmore, uh, no, sorry, Camrose, 
to Medicine Hat. I drove it at night and the lights started flicking off and on at about 80 kilometers an hour. So clearly there's a ground issue somewhere. The generator is not getting power down below from the 12 volt system. So there's clearly an issue there. This I'm assuming is for the stove or the microwave or something upper in that cabinet that's venting that out. Haven't seen any leaks inside. I found a receipt and I managed to get all the manuals for the uh, uh, for the RV, the, the build manuals and, and everything that was original with the truck with it. So I have uh, receipts and all kinds of service records and things like that that they did over the years. A lot of it hasn't been done in a while, but assuming the mileage probably is all still really good, just needs some temporary service, cha oil changes, fluid changes, blah, blah, blah. So... I'm going to try and get down this ladder, and I'm going to use two hands, because getting up is easy, but I'm an old guy, so we're getting to be an old guy, so I'm not going to take any chance, and I'm going to put the phone away for a second. All right, so I'm back on the ground, <laughs> didn't kill myself, and uh, now the great grand reveal of the tour inside of what it used to be and what it's going to be. So, clearly, we're doing a bit of construction. This is like midway point. I ripped out all the carpeting, the entire bench system. It, the, the bench and the table with the bed is, is no longer there because there is only two of us. We don't need um, seating for eight. There was a big couch right here that was uh, just gungy. So we threw it out and... Uh, uh, got rid of the benches. I've kept all of my wood over there in a pile over there so I can use any pieces to fill holes. This is where the back of the bench sat so you never saw that there was an access. But anyways, we painted all the cupboards white. Walls white. This wall looks funky because this was where the water damage came in from the roof initially. And they had the roof replaced after the fact but never repaired the inside walls, which means they probably never went through insurance or anything like that. So I've ripped out the outer layer of the wall. This is what's underneath. If I rip off that layer, I'm down to the insulation. And uh, I'm just drying this all out and, and I'm gonna take that door panel off and see what's going on with the mirror that's all wonky. Um, you know, typical 90s retro interior. Kind of looks exactly like the RVs they sell today, which is a sad statement. You spend a hundred grand on an RV and then you spend another thirty thousand dollars renovating it. What's the point? So back here is a very temporary what's going to be a platform because we're moving into it next week. I just need something temporary, but eventually this will be built into a big storage unit, king size bed, and um just some shelving on the side. We have the upper cabinets here and uh yeah, so going at that, we left some of the, the brown for now just because painting this and priming this was overwhelmingly a huge job. Doing the same to all the floors. Getting the toilet out was an adventure in its own right. But this will all get painted. We did a test wall to see if we liked the white on, on the wall. And obviously it looks better than anything else. Sorry for the mess and sorry for the bad video editing. I'm not by any means big skylight in the uh, in the bathroom area. The wife loves that. That's kind of groovy. And then we've got the fan and all that. But none of these switches on the wall down here seem to activate this system or the lights. So there's clearly an electrical issue in this. Stove and fridge work. Water pump works. Uh, gas stove finally works now that... We had a problem that kept shutting off. It wasn't working. Uh, I couldn't get gas to flow even though we had half a tank of propane. And we were reading the gauge right here uh, on the thing here. Um, and it'll tell you, you've got three quarters of a tank. Well, down in the tank, it was saying I had half a tank. But I was getting no gas into the stove or into the fridge or anything like that. Uh, it turned out what we think the problem is, is this regulator, this fire control shuts off the LP gas in an emergency if it detects a leak. 
is not jiving with the solenoid because I replaced the regulator and the solenoid at the propane tank and it's this thing beeps even the gas has been shut off for days and it just beep 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 <laughs> clearly annoying and clearly so I've ordered an actual little handheld gas detector I'm going to go around the whole RV and see if it detects any kind of leak or any kind of uh, problem so if not I think that thing is just old they say replace them every five to seven years from when I've been looking online I'm not again I'm using public sources I don't I try to go to RV places but they some of them don't even understand what you're saying bring it in they say well yeah I don't have $200 an hour for labor so I gotta do it myself this is what I'm assuming is the antenna up and down I haven't actually tried it uh, air conditioning does work inside it just it kind of blows a little warm so I'm thinking a recharge if I post this video, any anybody who has any comments or suggestions on things I can do in here to make sure everything is running good, um, <clears throat> yeah, you're more than welcome to send me a comment. Again, I don't even know how to post to YouTube yet, so I'm just going to wing it. Um, all this stuff here, this was all flickering on the drive home. Th there's a switch down below there, which was supposed to be a master switch but i don't think it's doing anything lights and then i've got all the uh generator the step which is not working the entry light and dome light both work and i have no clue what that accessory switch is for because i can't read anything on the button and it doesn't show a pictograph i guess in 1989 people were still into hieroglyphs i don't know uh basic AC blah 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 I know I have no heat I have not tried the AC and also at the back just for anybody who stood long enough to watch this whole video these pipes here I was told run from my engine back here and then they run through this fan control rig which was connected to a, a twin size or whatever it was double size bed frame in here I'm assuming this doesn't work, otherwise they wouldn't have plugged this like this and had it just recirculating, because this is used to heat the back while you drive. That's what I was told. Again, any comments, suggestions, or knowledge would be greatly appreciated. And uh, <clears throat> even if they're bad ones. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, microwave. And then, yeah, the stove, little double sink, and absolutely zero counter space, except for the table that was here. The plan is to build a bar-like shelf here with some stools underneath, just so it's uh, lightweight and easily removable if I ever want to do something else in the future. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Again, we left this one brown. I kind of liked it on this one. But it, it's got this weird felt thing right here that I hate. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of a droopy cabinet. But I think I'm going to take this one down anyways. I'm not really digging that. Every time I come in and I'm looking down, I smack my head on this corner. And I've probably done it 10 or 15 times now. Same with the very back one because I walk towards the back window and I'm looking down to see what's out the window and always right into the shelf. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't know what else to say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got this, uh, obviously all this wood to build this bed platform, which probably looks like a hack and slash job to a lot of you craftsmen out there. And for that, I apologize. <laughs> but building on the fly and building in a time constraint, it's, uh, it was necessity over, I don't even know what the word I would be looking for would be function. Eventually, as I said, I would like to have storage under here. I've been we're having a king size RV mattress back here that will sit center with some shelf around the side. Was the plan, and uh, want to have a way to get in or access the storage with either a lift or a uh, um, some kind of piano hinged lumber two by uh, plywood. Sorry. And then I've got this core board here that we bought. And we bought uh, 
230 square feet which we're assuming is going to be enough anything they said we don't use we can take back and if we need more they have it so yeah water systems all work um, couldn't believe it cost 70 bucks for a hose i tried to search it on amazon but i, I didn't know what i was looking for so the rv dealership stung me for the uh for the hose for a toilet extension 70 bucks huh. Yeah, RV life is going to be cheap, they said. RV life will be fun, they said. Actually, I'm looking forward to it a lot. We're going to uh, try and uh, get ourselves up on some crown land and um, just go boondocking camping. We have a solar system install that we want to do, but I, I, I'm i not sure I'm going to tackle that myself with so many other electrical things going on. So I may just have someone do the whole RV electrical and tie the solar system in we're hoping to put about 600 watts up there to start and maybe expand it up to a thousand so we'll see what happens with that we'll i'll try and keep people updated i don't have a name for this channel i don't have a, a twitter address or anything like that i don't use facebook my wife uses facebook so maybe she'll upload this on there i'm not sure um all right, well, if you stuck it out for 16 minutes and 25 seconds, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't enjoy it, then leave a comment why. I'm always open to suggestions. I'm not, again, just new to all this. But, uh, yeah, everyone have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.